Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Science. In this episode I'm going to be conducting an experiment using the electromagnet we made in our previous episode of Science. Um, if you haven't watched the video making an electromagnet, definitely watch that video first and then come back here uh, to see the experiment. I'm running the experiment uh, using the electromagnet so that we have some results to use in order for you to write a scientific report. Now if you have the materials to make your own electromagnet, I would definitely encourage you to make your own electromagnet, conduct your own experiment and collect your own results for your scientific report. But if you're not in a position to do so, you can use my results from this video. Okay, so I'll put that to the side for the moment. Um, and I'll touch base with your scientific report. So using the results from today's video, I'll ask that you come up with a title, a purpose or a name, a appropriate and appropriate hypothesis that explains or predicts the relationship between the independent and dependent variable, and I'll go through what those are as well, a list of materials, a method, a results table, a discussion, and finally a conclusion. Let me start with the results section to begin with. Your results table will need to show the number of paper clips that I'm going to pick up with my electromagnet. It will need to show the number of turns on my electromagnet. So I'll be experimenting with 10, 20, 30, 40 turns and also the number of trials for each of the number of turns. So I'm going to be trialing 10, 20, 30, 40 turns three times each. And then I'll ask that you calculate an average over the three trials. While this video is running and while I'm collecting the results, you should have a pen and paper next to you so that you can quickly jot down the results uh, roughly and then you can go back and fill in a good copy results table. Okay, But in the meantime, just have some pen and paper next to you so that you can write down notes as the video progresses. And of course, you can always go back, rewind and pause as we're going along too. Now, our independent variable for this experiment is the number of turns around the electromagnet. So 10, 20, 30, 40, that's what I'll be manipulating. As I manipulate the number of turns, as I manipulate my independent variable, I'll be measuring my dependent variable, the number of paper clips that are being picked up. Okay, So my number of turns is my independent variable, and the variable that I'm measuring, that I'm recording, is my dependent variable, number of paper clips picked up. So for your hypothesis, you'll, you'll need to make an appropriate prediction as to what the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable is. For your discussion, you can use the sample questions that are provided on the template practical report, uh, those standard generic questions that are always there, but I would definitely encourage you to expand upon those uh, general questions that are on the template. All right, so you should be explaining the theory behind why an electromagnet works. You can start by discussing the right-hand grip rule. So for a single wire, a current running through it generates a magnetic field that comes around it. Um, the right-hand solenoid rule. So when I wrap wire around it, your fingers indicate directional current, your thumb indicates the north pole of the electromagnet. All of those things that we've been learning about, you should explain in your discussion section, all of the theory that we've covered so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. You should also uh, cover why electromagnets are useful and what we use electromagnets for. So there's plenty of content, plenty of theory to discuss. And I would definitely encourage you to use uh, diagrams, whether it's self-drawn, whether it's from the internet, just make sure you're giving credit wherever you're taking stuff from uh, in the form of a reference. But I definitely encourage you to take photos of your own or draw diagrams of your own to help you explain some of the theory within the uh, discussion section. Okay, 
from here, I think I can probably move on to beginning our experiment. So let me just put that to the side. Now my electromagnet here, I've just taped up one side just to make handling it a little bit easier. I'm going to connect the negative terminal to this end, like so. And I'm going to start with 10 turns. So take my piece of wire, one, uh, we'll count that as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'll just need to connect the other end. Give me a moment. Okay. So now I've got 10 turns on my electromagnet. I'll need my paper clips. And the way I'm going to run this experiment is I'll just spread out my paper clips. I've made sure that none of them are interlocked with each other. And in order for it to count, I'll need to lift the paper clips and be able to drop it into the bowl. So I'll count it from the bowl. Just double check my number of turns. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And then I'll turn it on. I'm using 4 volts. So I'll keep the num amount of volts the same for the duration of the experiment. If you're doing it at home, you can of course manipulate not only the number of turns, but the amount of volts as well. Okay, let's get started. Okay. So it looks like that time, I was able to do one, two, three, four paper clips. Four paper clips. So that's the first trial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then second trial. One, two, three, four, five paper clips that time. In a third trial. And three paper clips that time. Okay. So note all that down. From here, I'll move on to 20 turns. So just confirm I've still got 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now I've got 20 turns on my electromagnet. Let's get a good grip on it. And let's go. Okay, this time I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine paper clips. Okay. Let's try again. This time I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve that time. Twelve paper clips that time. And our third trial. Okay, for our third trial, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen paper clips that time round. Okay, we can move to 
30 turns this time. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm just going to disconnect this for a moment to uncoil this part. Okay. This time we've got 30 turns. All right, so let's see how we go. First trial. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen paper clips. Second trial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 that time. And let's try again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen that time. Okay, I might just do one one more just to make sure. Oh, that was a extra Let's put that down. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So just use uh, three trials. And now let's go to uh, 40 turns. So 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, this time 40 turns. First trial. Oh wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oops, oops, oops. Make sure it doesn't come off. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty paper clips. All right, let's do our second trial and get the loops back on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, 
23, 24 paper clips that time. Okay, let's do our third and final trial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay, that should just about uh, complete the experiment. Um, also consider if there are any limitations uh, to this experiment that you've noticed. If you've seen any limitations, do definitely comment um, in your discussion section. I'll also confirm which end is the uh, south pole and north pole. So if I turn this on, the white needle is attracted to this end, which tells me that this is the north pole of the electromagnet and this is the south pole. The red needle should now line up there. Yep, so that's the south and that's the north. And so my coil is wrapping around underneath this way. Hope you enjoyed this experiment and I'll see you in the next episode of Science.